In this video we are going to create an unrecoverable fatal error in the WordPress admin screen and then recover from it using the control panel, C panel. First of all we will activate a plugin that won't work without OIC. Cookie Cat needs OIC, it sees there is a suitable version of OIC available so it suggests we activate it. We click on the activate button. OIC and Cookie Cat are now activated so we deactivate OIC and Cookie Cat is no longer happy. So let's now deactivate Cookie Cat and try something else. Let's try activating the OIC custom header image plugin. WordPress detects a problem and it tells us there's a fatal error. Oops, maybe we need to activate the OIC based plugin. So we activate that. Let's have a look to see what's active. Well, the custom header image isn't activated because that failed. Try it again. Oh no, that's pretty serious. The Ike custom header plugin activated itself and it seemed to work when we clicked on the activate button, but as soon as we actually displayed the screen, it causes a fatal error. Fortunately, we actually do know what the problem with this is, and so we know the only way to recover from it is to actually do it outside of WordPress. So now we need to go to the website's main control panel, C panel, and log in as the site administrator. The simplest way to correct the problem is to use this, uh, the website's file manager to locate and rename the file that's in error, and WordPress will then be able to recover itself. So we go to the www folder, WP content, which is where plugins are installed, choose the plugins folder, go to OIC, because that's where OIC custom header image plugin is, find the oikheader.php file and rename it by changing the extension from PHP to .hph, which isn't an executable routine. So we go back to the WordPress admin page and we can see that the website has been recovered and that the OIC custom header plugin has been deactivated.